The average person has two piercings. Well, 2.1 if you want to be statistical. This is technically a body modification, but what about extreme body modifications? I'm talking about removal of fingers, eye tattoos, teeth sharpening, horns, and so much more. Today, we'll be talking about the disturbing world of body modifications and specific people who one could argue took things a bit too far. Also, this video is in no way shaming anyone on the list. You have your right to do whatever you want with your body. This video is just covering some shocking body mods. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Like I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about disturbing body modifications, specifically the people. Also, I have a song coming out March 10th featuring Funeral. If you want to tune into that, it'll be on the second channel and on Spotify and Apple Music, all of that. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get a lot more followers on Instagram. I posted a really cool picture of me. There it is. So if you want to go leave a like on it, make sure to go follow me on Instagram. Oh yeah, and by the way, I uploaded last week, I uploaded a Lizard Squad video. So if you want to go check that out after this, make sure to go check it out. Anyway. Let's get started with the video. Anthony Lafredo. Anthony calls himself the black alien, although he's a white man. To be fair, he's tattooed from head to toe, including the white areas of his eyes. He's had surgeries, tattoos, and other procedures done on him to gain self-confidence. He even told LAD Bible that it makes him feel more like himself. He's named his transformation the quote, black alien project. So what has he done to his body so far? Well, within a period of nine years, he's split his tongue, gotten rid of his ears, nostrils, fingers to get that look of a claw, upper lip, and just recently he wanted to amputate his leg. He's also sharpened his teeth and dyed them purple in addition to changing the color of his eyes several times. According to him, all these body modifications are getting him closer to his quote black alien end goal. He's actually complained that restaurants are discriminating against him by refusing to serve him. Apparently he's just too scary with all the tattoos that it makes people nervous. I mean, I think that's something you go into once you uh, want to become a black alien. You should probably think about how the public's going to react. He thinks of himself as a quote normal guy, maybe because he loves animals and reading, taking mirror selfies, getting regular workouts at the gym, and smoking occasionally. Lafredo was born in 1988, making him 34 years old now, and he's also from France. Little is known about Lafredo's family background other than the fact that he lives with his mom. It seems he's still single. Fun fact, his nose was removed in Spain because France has apparently banned this procedure. He got his fingers chopped off in Mexico in 2021, and he plans on getting surgeries on the back of his head in addition to the leg amputation. But what about work? It's reported that he worked for one year as a security guard before he moved on to transforming his body. I actually think it would be better for him to be security guard now. He'd be like the final boss security guard. They gotta bring him out when scallywags are causing a scene. Bruh. Anyway, let's head on to the next one. Nadine Anderson. The daddy's the daddy's girl from Dundee, Scotland, started getting tattoos as soon as she hit 18 years old and started her famous face blackout work at 21. Other than her face scarification, she split her tongue, which actually had to be done in Germany due to laws prohibiting the procedure in the UK. She also cut off the top of her ear cartilage. In her interview with Hobo Jack, Nadine says her face black work was made feminine specifically for her, and it's a big fuck you to the flowers and heart tattoos. What was her inspiration? She saw her father's fully tatted sleeves growing up, which she says were impressive. She told the US Daily that her father's tattoos inspired her Pinterest boards and other sites where she saved what she wanted to look like when she turned 18. A look at her Instagram page shows the extent of her tattoos, having 90% of her body covered in 2020. There's also no hint to her family life online, other than her mention of her dad's influence and her journey. Is she looking to add more ink? Yeah, definitely. She told the New York Post in 2020 that she was looking to add more ink under her right eye. She recalls that the tattoo on her growing area was the most painful and difficult to manage as she had to use makeshift diet diapers for a week. How about her scarifications? Nadine says healing them was quick but brutal, especially since she had to constantly fly in and out of Europe while bandaged up. She described the healing as a whitey affair, saying that she had to pour citric acid in the wounds to settle the scars. She's a full-time employed health assistant, so her tattoos don't affect her employability or ability to make money. She also recently joined the Woodstock Models, a career she never imagined herself in. According to her, modeling her tattoos shows the world what other people didn't have the balls to achieve. Amber Luke. Amber Luke has 90% of her body tatted with over 600 tattoos. She's famous for her blue inked eyeballs, a procedure that risks her going permanently blind as she couldn't see properly three weeks after the procedure. The 29 year old Australian from South Wales has a split tongue and has extended earlobes that appear pointy from the silicone she had inserted. She explains that she battled body image issues while growing up, but her mother has always been by her side. The Instagram model shares her body modifications on her Instagram page. Interestingly enough, she was accused 
accused of narcotic supply in 2020, which captured global attention on her, but her tattoos eventually made her an internet star. She later got parole from her accusations in May of 2021, and in an interview with YouTuber Putra MG, she confirmed plans to either laser or black out her skin once she runs out of space, saying that she loves the black artwork. And what happens if you ever like finish your whole body with, with all the tattoos? I'm gonna eventually, I haven't decided whether I'm gonna laser it off or black it out yet. No shit. Oh my god. Blacking Probably it out. I'm blacking it out because I love black hour. Amber is also on OnlyFans, which she says has been the most lucrative venture for her, in comparison to her former topless waitress job. Her family's pretty unknown, but she says her mom has always been right by her side, especially during the trial. Ethan Bramble. The Instagram celebrity from Gold Coast, Australia, has proclaimed himself as the world's most modified youth. Ethan has confessed to almost choking to death during his tongue-splitting procedure and almost got blind from inking his eyeballs. Born on September 23rd, 1996, the internet celebrity with a following of over 200,000 on Instagram attended Irrawang High School in Raymond Terrace. He dated his high school sweetheart, Belfry, I'm not gonna pronounce that, from 2013 and proposed to her in 2017. No news of their breakup was shared, but as of 2019, when he was interviewed by Truly, he was dating another person named Jade Rendazzo, who he said loves his tattoos. She is, however, adamant about him not adding any more face tats, saying she'd rather have him add tattoos anywhere else on his body, but they gotta be appealing to her. Healing his split tongue was the most difficult as it was painful and he couldn't eat or drink water for days. He also has a slit below his lower lip, punches on his nose and half of his ears cut off. Now he's experimenting with silicone under his skin, and he says he'll venture into it after his skin is fully covered in tattoos. He's also a father. He says he loves traveling and has already been to the United States and several countries in Europe like Sweden. For the case of Ethan Bramble, he actually regrets getting a lot of his body modifications. So once he had his daughter, he realized that he had to be a more mature person. So things like picking her up from school, came into his mind and then anxiety struck because he's not only affecting his life anymore now he's affecting his daughter's life and he also says that a reason for the regret is just having a lot of anxiety i mean no matter what you're going to be the center of attention so he's actually on his journey of getting his face tattoos lasered off they seem to be going honestly like pretty well so yeah best of luck to him the fetish Barbie. The 27-year-old Austrian woman confessed her obsession with appearing plastic. She grew up drawn to the goth scene that then pushed her to the fetish scene. She started getting lip fillers at 18, which she kept going back for every three months, developing an addiction. Barbie has since had several surgeries and fillers done. She's currently getting her face Botox regularly refreshed. She's addicted to looking plastic, which has gathered her a following on Instagram with over 20,000 followers and creating an OnlyFans page. She tells people that judge her to mind their business and to let her live. She's currently dating her boyfriend Daniel, who says he immediately wanted to meet her the first time he saw her picture. She told Truly that she's never gonna stop getting surgeries unless it's necessary. She claims she's obsessed and not addicted. She's looking to get her lips bigger and maybe get a larger boob size. Her boyfriend, however, is actually worried about her getting more fillers, which he says aren't necessary since they're gonna erase her facial emotions and he needs to see her emotions when he's talking to her because he's gonna have no idea if she's arguing with him, being sarcastic, or being serious. Fetish Barbie is a self-proclaimed disciplinarian of men who says she offers no mercy to men and shows them how to be disciplined and treat women better. According to her, her followers, which are mostly men, shower her with expensive gifts. Other than Daniel, little is known about her family life. It's kind of funny that your boyfriend complains, stop getting surgeries. I want to see your reactions to the things I say. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna assume we're like halfway through the video. So that means you guys have been seeing my little character on the screen. I really hope you guys like it because I wanna keep doing that. I think it's just a lot easier than my face being on camera. For this video, I'm doing both, but sometime in the future, I think I'm gonna mainly be doing my character on the screen just to keep the channel refreshing. I know y'all like seeing my face, but uh, I think eventually I'm gonna switch over to my little character, but that doesn't mean face cam videos will stop. Just wanted to make that clear. Also, since I'm talking right now, make sure to shop at Earl doesn't exist Com. The video game drop came out and we have a lot of shirts focused on video games So please make sure to go check out the website You don't have to buy anything, but it would be awesome if You could just click that link and check out the website. Anyway, let's head on to the next one Aurelin. Aurelin Smith grew up in Texas with a very supportive Christian family. She recalls having a happy childhood with her parents being very involved. She told Soft White Underbelly that she graduated high school in 2017, then moved in with her dad in Houston, but never wanted to attend college. Her dad insisted that she needed a college education and even paid for her nursing school fees for a semester. She apparently only attended one week of college and then already wanted out. She dropped out after that week and hid the fact that she dropped out from her dad for the whole semester. After dropping out, she was involved with a 
man who abused her and made her feel worthless. He dictated every aspect of her life, including what she would look like in public. After leaving that toxic relationship, she started getting face tats that her ex-boyfriend wouldn't let her due to wanting to control her. She says her tattoos are a sign of freedom to do whatever she wants with her skin and a retaliation to her ex. She recently informed the No Jumper podcast that she started getting tattoos at 16 years old while being an apprentice at a tattoo parlor where she was groomed into sexual monetization. On that same podcast, she also confirms to having sex with more than 600 men, which was a big topic of discussion when talking about her. Did you do it for, was there a, a hidden agenda to it or did you do it just because you just felt like fucking? Monetary gain. Monetary gain. Oh, so you were banging for money. Well, yeah, but let's say I have been uh, sexually interactive or whatever since I was 11. And how old are you now? I just turned 23. Okay. Yeah. 12 years in these streets. Yes, but 16 is when I started monetary gaining. Some people refer to her as a demon due to her tattoos and body mods, but she's really softer than she looks. She's also on OnlyFans. A lot of these girls end up on OnlyFans. And that's not bad. That's not bad. I'm just I mean, if you're going to spend that much money on body modifications, it makes sense to get your money back through OnlyFans. She recently had her eyes tattooed and split her tongue, which she shared the healing journey to on her YouTube channel. She has a full arm sleeve and iconic butterfly tattoos, which she plans to push further and have butterfly silicone implants. Most of her tattoos are butterflies and insect that she says fascinates her due to the ugly and delicate stages of development. She's also a professional stripper, which she says funds her livelihood. She also explains that she can go through a bottle of foundation just to cover up her tattoos whenever she's going to a location that would be inappropriate to be seen like that. She's still close with her father, who she says she loves, and her mother, who is currently in a wheelchair after years of drug and alcohol use. Her OnlyFans is her biggest earner, giving her an average of 50,000 USD monthly. Now we know why they go to OnlyFans. That is fucking crazy money. Jesus Christ. 50,000 monthly. What if I get tatted up and then I make my OnlyFans? I'm leaving YouTube. Full-time OnlyFans model, Tuv. At left-handed underscore granny, the Indiana-based TikTok star and mother of one has over 29 piercings aside from tattoos and diamond grills that she flaunts on her page. Of the 29 piercings, 20 are on her face, one in her tongue, two on her nipples, a frenulum, and belly button ones. The piercings are so many that she keeps forgetting the number of piercings on her ears. She has over 200,000 followers on TikTok, and her videos get millions of views, with a lot of viewers asking about her piercings and tattoo procedures. She's looking to get a mandible piercing, but hasn't found an advanced piercer in Indiana. She engages with her TikTok fans on lives when getting her procedures, and she also updates them on the healing processes as well. Her fans also get curious about her eating, which she proudly shows in several TikTok videos. She's also a grandmother and recently shared her granddaughter in a video that surprised many people because she's not... She doesn't look old enough to be a grandmother. Left-handed Granny doesn't shy away from telling off her haters, stating that she loves how she looks with her piercings on. Aside from her tattoos and piercings, she also showcases a beautiful wig collection. Victor Hugo and Gabriella Peralta. The couple won a Guinness World Record title for the married couple with most body modifications in 2014. Their combined modifications were a record of 84, but have since increased to over 98. Their modifications include a collective of 50 piercings, 8 microdermal modifications, 14 body implants, 1 forked tongue, 2 ear bolts, 4 ear expanders, and 5 dental implants. The couple have been married for 14 years, having met in Argentina over 24 years ago. Victor is originally from Uruguay and Gabriela from Argentina, where they met in Buenos Aires at a motorcycle event. Their dedication towards each other and the art has empowered them and helped them get through each body modification process. Gabriela says Victor's forehead implants are her favorite and made her want to get some. Victor also says that his most painful modification was the tongue pigmentation, and Gabriela's most painful were her three scarifications. Tiamat Legion Medusa. Tiamat Legion Medusa, born Richard Hernandez, is 61 years old from Texas and has over years covered themselves in tattoos and piercings. The ex-banker has self-proclaimed to be genderless in a bid to be the world's first genderless dragon. As a child, they underwent abuse from their stepfather and was eventually abandoned by their mother, who could not accommodate for them because their new husband prohibited it. A stranger took them in and continued the abuse pattern, which founded their desires to disassociate from humanity. At 40 years old, they were a 
successful vice president of a finance firm and already had 79 piercings, some that they had to take out or put back in whenever they went to work. After being diagnosed with HIV, they eventually quit the finance career to pursue the genderless dragon dream. Their online persona is Dragon Lady Medusa, and they already have a split tongue and ears removed. Some more bizarre modifications are the $80,000 horn implants that completely transformed their appearance. Their relationship with their now adult son is a little bit sad, as the son doesn't understand the makeover, which sadly led him to reject his father. Medusa claims that they post their modifications and life online for their son to see and maybe accept their life choices. They've actually undergone more than 20 surgeries in an attempt to become a reptile. Tobias Mueller and Lena Marie Duh Tobias Mueller and Lena Marie Duh's love story grew from their love for body modification. They have a combination of 360 tattoos and 54 piercings. Mueller has over 300 tattoos and gets the most attention. He has a split tongue, four subdermal silicone implants, an implanted magnet and chip, and a permanent branding. The couple regularly get made fun of on the internet for their extreme tattoos, but tell their haters they're too in love to care. Lena is a tattoo artist who has inked Tobias' skin. So he hasn't paid for his tattoos since he met her. She's done over 200 230 tattoos on him in the last five years, which he says has brought them together more. While telling their love story to the New York Post, Tobias says he approached Lena in her Instagram messages, and they quickly connected. Lena admits that she finds him extremely attractive with his body modifications. Good for them. Good for them. I mean, if you're gonna get made fun of, at least you got your partner with you, right? Am I right, guys? You don't wanna get made fun of alone. I mean, they in love. They in love, though. They got that. They got that. Alright guys, that was it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. New single, out March 10th. Oh yeah, make sure to go follow me on Instagram. Because I'll be posting some I'll be posting some nice pictures over there. And join the Discord if you haven't already. It's discord.gg slash tov. And I'll see you guys next time I upload.